Hello everyone. Let's just look into one more numerical problem from the concept of gradually varied flow. Here goes the problem statement. A rectangular channel 8 meter wide carries discharge of 11 meter cube per second. Manning's n is 0.025, bed slope of 0.0016. Compute the length of backwater profile created by a dam which backs up to a depth of 2 meter immediately behind the dam by direct step method. The silent features related to uh, the given problem statement is one that uh, it is a rectangular channel where the width of 8 meter is given and the discharge flowing is around 11 meter cube per second. The other one is that this section is visualized immediately behind the dam where y is given as 2 meters. So this is what can be imagined in this particular case of a rectangular section. Now profile details can be drawn once we get to know about the slope and the profile of the upstream section and then we use direct step method uh, to calculate to chalk out the details of the uh, points and the profiles. So our first decision would be something related to Y0 and YC and for the same thing we are supposed to calculate area wetted perimeter, the hydraulic radius etc. Area is 8Y, the wetted perimeter is 2 times Y plus 8, R is A by P. Now we have a discharge equation saying A into 1 by N R to the power 2 by 3 S to the power half from the Manning's theory. And delta x is calculated as delta e by s naught minus s of average, where delta e is the difference between specific energies, and s of average would be the average of the s of one and s of two values. Okay. Now we calculate y naught and y c. Y c is calculated with the help of this equation q square by g to the power one by three because we are into completely on a rectangular section. Uh, Q, which is a discharge per unit width, 11 meter cube per second divided by 8 meters, around 1.375 meters. So if we substitute over here, YC would be around 0.576 meters. All right, so we'll calculate Y naught now. Uh, as usual, Y0 is calculated with the help of trial and error method, which is performed on this equation. So, if we do that, we'll get Y0 equals to 1 meters. Now, if you observe here, Y0 is greater than YC, uh, Y is 2 meters. So, with the help of all these things, we try to attain our decision on the slope. Slope is mild because Y0 is greater than YC. Now y which is 2 meters is even greater than y naught so the profile would be m1. Okay now our uh, task would be very simple. We will be investigating something on m1 with the help of direct step method. So to do that we have to draw this table. Table consists of details like y, depth of flow in meters, area of uh, cross section at uh, the given values of y. Velocity of flow R V square by 2G energy the differences in the specific energy R to the power 4 by 3 SF SF average S naught minus SF average and delta X. So initially we try to assume the values of Y from 2 meters immediately behind the, the upstream section of a dam which is 2 meters until 1.01 or let's say 1 meters. We could even uh, go to the extent of y being 1 meter because uh, the value of y naught is 1 meter. Okay, so based on the values of y, we calculate area. Now, once we get to know about the values of area, velocity is nothing but discharged by the area of cross section or area of flow rather. R is calculated and then v square by 2g is. 0 0.024 now here e is 2 plus v square by 2g there is no meaning for delta e for uh, the first trial r to the power 4 by 3 is just by raising the power of r 
to the extent of 4 by 3 and then SF SF uh, uh, average has no meaning here it's not minus SF average so for y equals to 1.8 we calculate area and velocity v square by 2g v square by 2g plus y would be the value of specific energy 2.024 minus 1.830 is delta e now what to the power 4 by 3 sf is calculated sf average is average of these two values and we deduct it from the values of s naught uh, and later delta x is calculated similar trials are performed till y equals to 1 meters now here it is restricted to y equals to 1.01 .01. now we have delta x values here if we sum it up we get a total length and the total length of the backwater profile or uh, the m1 profile would be around 1151 meters or 1.151 kilometers next we can draw the profile a small representative diagram also thank you